Yo, Kepe Sky here. What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. And today, I'm bringing you what a lot of you guys have been asking me for, is the review of the Bic Acoustech, the PL300, the Elite Series. Now, you guys have been asking me so much, Kepe Sky, there are no reviews on the internet at all on this subwoofer. Please pick one of these up to review. Well, I have done just that for you guys. If you are a huge fan, and I mean a big long-term fan of KPS Guy, you guys know that I've had up two different subwoofers from Big America, the overall company. I had the F12, which is a highly regarded subwoofer, and then I had the PL200, the previous model of this one. So I'm familiar with these guys. And now we have today the PL300. Now this isn't a sponsor video. Uh, Bic didn't send this to me. I purchased this myself and I bought it for, from Amazon for a total price of $4.55 American dollars, US dollars. And on the Big America website, they have it, the MSRP at $8.99. So I bought this for $4.55 on Amazon and you can pick yours up there as well. Now I'm quite interested in this subwoofer because this evolves from the PL200. There's a lot of new things going on. The PL200 was also a 12 inch subwoofer that had two ports, but this one now, if I take off this grill here, just made of some MDF wood, we now have three ports on this one. And what that allows you to do is tune your subwoofer to your liking. So we've seen this before on Rhythmic subwoofers, SVS subwoofers, um, Sue subwoofers, and now we're here on the PL300 from Big America. This allows you to tune your frequencies, but this one takes it to a whole new level. There's probably, I think, five different tuning options, one of them not being a sealed option. You can't seal the subwoofer, it's gonna be ported no matter what. But let's go ahead and get right into the, the specs. All right, so this is a 12 inch driver powered by a 350 watt RMS amplifier with 1400 watts peak of dynamic power. So this thing can really put some output to you if you like that. Um, but normally you'll get about 350 watts. And again, 455 is what I paid for this. I don't think there's a subwoofer out there that's giving you 1400 watts peak at this kind of price point. It has a nice little gloss top there and some gloss accents on the front, but overall it's just made of some MDF composite type of wood here wrapped in some kind of uh, really nice vinyl. It looks really good. I remember one of the complaints that I had about the 200 is that these corners chipped quite easily. Um, so be careful when you're moving this around. But other than that, it looks better built than it did in the previous uh, version of this subwoofer. So it looks really nice, wrapped in a little bit of vinyl with some, some gloss accents on top of it. Not real gloss piano, but uh, I think it's like a wrapped uh, vinyl on top. So it looks pretty good, honestly. Then you have that copper color-ish cone. So one of the new features for this new level of subwoofer is the ability to switch from max output and base boost mode. So now we have three ports, so it allows us to have tuning control over the subwoofer. So here's the options that you have as far as tuning goes. So you can take this port out here. There's a foam plug here, about that size. You can take this port out, or this port plug out, and you can set it to max output mode, which gives you what they call ungodly levels of sound all the way down to 20 hertz. So they recommend you when you put this mode into max output that you take the plug out. That allows for all the air that possible uh, to escape the subwoofer to give you the loudest chance of having some bass all the way down to 20 hertz. Now if you put it in the bass boost mode, this will allow you to dig down as low as 15 hertz, but you compromise a little bit of SBL or sound output. So when you put it in the bass boost mode, you wanna put the port back in the middle, and this will extend your frequency down from 20 hertz to 15 hertz. So if you're somebody who wants to get the loudest bass, you can do that with maximum output mode, leave all the ports open, and that'll give you as much volume as the subwoofer can possibly produce down to 20 hertz. If you're someone who wants to extend your bass as low as it can possibly go, then you're going to plug the middle port and set it to the bass boost mode. So we're going to play around with that in a future video and see really if we can tell any kind of difference in output and bass extension. But this is what that port plug allows you to do is kind of fine tune. Getting a better look on the back plate, the amplifier on the back side, PIC Acoustic uses a bash amplifier, again, 350 watts RMS, 1400 watts peak. And the setup on the back is pretty simple. First, of course, you have one single sub input for your LFE channel. You have your volume knob, 
your phase switch from zero to 180 degrees, and you see there your max output or base boost toggle switch as well. Moving over to the right side, you have your crossover frequency dial, you have your crossover option as far as if you wanna use it on the subwoofer itself, set your crossover from the subwoofer, or you can bypass the subwoofer's crossover and use your AVR or your preprocessor's crossover. And then you have your power selector, whether you want it to be off, on, or have it auto detect a signal. On the bottom left corner, you have your plug to power the sub, and then you have the ability to select your voltage depending on where you are in the world. Now, as somebody who's owned a lot of different subs, the back plate really tells a lot about what this sub is geared towards, and it's 100% made for movies, for home theater usage. And the reason why I know that is because one, you have a single output here, or input here for your sub, so it's going to be paired to a receiver of some sort. So you're not gonna be able to do high level inputs, meaning power set two channel speakers to this. You cannot do that. It has to be paired with some sort of receiver or AV processor. Also what tells me that this is more towards home theater is the fact that it only comes with one port. So you can't seal it off and make it a little bit tighter of a response. Another reason why I know this is a home theater sub is because of the two options that you have for tuning. Either you can get as loud of a bass as you want or you can dig really deep, but there's no musical setting. There's no type of sealed mode or anything like that. Um, although in their description, they do claim that the bass that does come out of this is gonna be tight and responsive, um, but this seems to be geared more towards the home theater enthusiast because they're prioritizing low deep bass and maximum gobs of output from your receiver. So this wasn't necessarily geared towards the music listener, although I'm going to try it for both. Now, if this is anything similar to the PL200, the PL200 sounded incredibly good for a home theater and 50-50 on music, depending on what you like to listen to. So with that being said, this one probably has similar characteristics, maybe a little bit cleaner sound, but we won't know until we try it. So if you guys are really familiar with K-Pace Guy and his reviews, you know that I like to break in my speakers before I do any kind of assessment. So we're gonna have this in the home theater for maybe a week or two before I do any kind of critical listening. So we're gonna break the speaker in, get it acclimated, find the best placement in my room for it, and then we'll listen to it for a while, play different songs and play different movies and see where this excels and where it underperforms and then of course I will give you guys my feedback so if you're interested in that make sure you hit that subscribe button all right guys so that's gonna do it for this kind of general overview on the subwoofer and I think I'm gonna put mine in one port sealed and put it in bass boost mode so I'm gonna get the lowest frequencies but again there's about three or four different options for your tuning. I think I'm gonna plug one and turn on bass boost mode and get all the low bass I can get because my room's not big so I don't need a lot of that pressure. So I'm gonna get it plugged in guys and we're gonna listen to it for a while and see what we think. So make sure you guys stay tuned, leave a comment down below. Let me know, have you heard the PL200 before? Do you know about that sub and what do you think about that one? And what do you think about this one in comparison? Do you think this one would be a lot better, a much better upgrade or do you think it's just kind of a gimmick? Let me know in the comment section down below hit that like button and subscribe if you are not already. We will see you in the next video. K-Pace Guy out. Peace.